Welcome back to Cooking with Coach M. So I have this funny habit where I go through magazines and then I rip out um, recipes that look really yummy and then I put them in a binder. So it was like Pinterest before it was Pinterest was the thing. And FYI, I don't even have a Pinterest because I'd have to like quit my jobs just to like curate my Pinterest boards. But anyway, so I was going through my, my recipe binder and I found this yummy recipe that I've never done before. It's from September 2015 from Real Simple and it's almond jam bars. So let's make some. So to make this recipe, I'm gonna need a cup of oats, some flour. It says whole wheat, but I'm just, I'm just, that's what I have. So I'm doing that. Um, some almonds, you can use any kind of nuts, I think. Um, I, I don't I know, I've never made it before. A stick of butter, whenever I cut the butter like this, it reminds me of my friend Jackie, cause she always, she has a, like a little butter cutter that cuts it perfectly. I just have a regular knife. Sorry, Jackie. Um, some brown sugar, baking powder, salt, and some jam. This is the jam that I've got. So this is the jam that I'm using. So we're gonna um, pulse all these things in the food processor and it's gonna be awesome. I've got my flour, my oats, and my nuts in there. I found some walnuts, so I'm just gonna toss those in there too. And I'm just gonna pop them. Until they're finely ground. I think that looks great. So from here, what it says I'm supposed to do is add the sugar, brown sugar, love it, some baking powder and salt, delightful. Do, 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 do and my butter. I should probably like separate it a little bit. Mmm, so I'm gonna make, this is kind of like the crust that's gonna go down into it. So now I'm supposed to pulse it to combine. Delish. That looks great. Ooh, there's a big chunk of butter. Oh, I wonder if I could leave. No, I should do it. I should do it. Okay. That is, this was the hardest part of this whole recipe, was cutting the parchment paper to prepare this pan. So before, remember, the prepared pan was spray the pan, but this is going to make it very easy for us to um, get these oat bars out. So I'm cutting two strips of parchment paper. They're going to fit crisscross across here. So then when they're all done, I can just lift them out. What I do is I take my filling and I'm going to reserve some of it off to the side to use um, on top. But I just pour all that filling in, reserving about, I don't know, half a cup, third of a cup. And then I'm gonna use the bottom of my measuring cup to press it down. Now you need to press it down really firmly so that it makes that good crust. So I'm just going to press, I'm going to press, I'm going to press. Oh, there's a nice chunk of butter. Delightful. Just, mm, it's making it hard to press. I'm going to press, 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 press. And then after I've pressed everything, what I'm going to do is take the jam. Remember that yummy jam? Mm, look at this. This is like so good. I'm going to take my yummy jam and um, I'm gonna, supposed to just, like spread it over this. But I'm telling you right now, that's going to be challenging. So I'm going to go blah, 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 blah. You can use any kind of jam. The recipe says to use apricot. But what if you're in quarantine and you don't have apricot and you only have the stuff that you have? Then, then just do that. Here's a tip on to not get it like that. See how I went like that? When you are spreading it, you want to make sure that you are, when you come back off of it, that you're over the jam and then it won't get blobby and get those little fun funky crumbs. I think I'm gonna use this whole thing of jam. Wow. Well, that's great. So I'm gonna keep spreading the jam and then over the top of this, I'm gonna sprinkle. Oh, you guys, this looks so good. I'm gonna sprinkle the last of the topping. So I reserved some of the nuts that I'm going to, um, that I mixed with the topping right here, right? 
So I put some extra nuts, saved them, and then I'm gonna sprinkle that over the top. And by sprinkle, I mean pour, and then go like that. Isn't that easy? I think this took about uh, maybe five minutes to toss together. So I'm pretty excited about that. So this is gonna be our midday snack today. Um, now I'm gonna bake it at 350. Remember, when in doubt, 350 and bake it for 35 to 45 minutes um, until it's golden brown and it's set in the middle. So it's like not like gooey. Can't wait to show you the finished product. Cooking in my little easy bake oven again. It, they're, they're just doing their thing. They don't look much different, but they're making magic like at the bottom of all of that. They smell so good. I think these are gonna be a winner, you guys. So we just popped them out of the Easy Bake Oven, and I pulled them right out of the pan. Look at, so my pan is like, I don't even have to clean it. It's the best. Well, it's a little, it's a little old, so I could use it for something else. But I just pull them right out. They come out here, and I just cut them. Oh, you guys. They've been cooling for about, I don't know, yeah, an hour. I was just teaching a class. I'm gonna just cut them like this. Do that. These are, this is a generous quantity. And let's take, oh, are you seeing this? I'm gonna taste it. Mmm, it was all fun. Mmm. Oh, you guys. Okay, you need to make these right now. I think these would be really good. If you use like almond flour or coconut flour too, instead of white flour, wheat flour, these would be awesome. So don't mind me. I'm just gonna stuff my face and plate these up for the kids. Happy cooking.